What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for clicking on another Mass360 YouTube video. We appreciate it. Let us know what types of content or questions you have on how to better manage and secure your devices within your organization in the comment section below, and we will make it happen, make a video about it here on the Maddie Mac and Mass360 YouTube channel. The last video that I did involved Colin Shank. Colin works with all of our Mass360 sellers on the technical aspects when we're demoing Mass360 to prospective clients. And we did a demo, and you can click on it above my head right now, or above this presentation, I should say. We did a demo on the enrollment process for BYOD devices, both what that process looks like for an admin to push down that enrollment to an employee's either iPhone or Android mobile phone, and also the experience the employee is going to go through on their device. We show exactly what it looks like on those devices to successfully follow the prompts and get enrolled in Mass360. Once it's enrolled, everything the employee needs to do their job automatically populates on that phone with no manual configuration or setup needed from the IT team. In today's video, we're focusing on what that process looks like for corporate issued devices. For today, we're just going to focus on mobile phones. So either the iOS, iPhone process, or the Android process. I'll do separate a separate video, excuse me, on Windows out of the box experience, what that process looks like for Windows laptops. Okay, when managing corporate issued devices. This is really important. There's no if, ends, buts about it. You need to take advantage of the programs on the screen here to have the level of security you really need and want over these corporate issue devices. And what these programs do, they take a phone. This phone that I'm holding in my hand right here, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. This phone is a, thinks it's a consumer asset. This is Matt's phone. This is Carl's phone. This is Molly's phone. And what these programs on the screen do for your iOS iPhones, they'll be going through Android, or excuse me, Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager for the Android devices. They'll be going through Android Enterprise. And what these programs do is they say, no phone, you are not a consumer asset. You do not belong to Matt, Carl, Molly. You belong to XYZ company. Not sure you ever had to deal with activation lock in the past for an employee was using their personal iTunes user and password on their corporate issue device. They either are let go or they leave to another organization. They turn that phone in and they don't tell you, the IT leader, what their personal username and password was for their iTunes account to get back in that phone. And essentially, that iPhone, for example, or that Android mobile phone is a $1,000 paperweight sitting on your desk and the only way to get it unlocked so you can pass it off to another employee is to either call up apple support not a lot of fish it's going to take a few hours to sit on hold or go to an apple store again going to take up a lot of your time so what these programs do they completely eliminate activation lock and i just wanted to share with you what this is going to look like on both an iphone and an android device so let's say for example that I just got hired by your company. I'm super excited. I sign my offer letter. I start in a few weeks. Instead of my devices, instead of my iPhone being sent to a central location for the IT team to physically and manually image, set up, and configure my device for my use, and then being sent to my house in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, these devices are drop shipped directly to my house in Langhorne. I rip open the box power the device on. At this point, the device is hitting a corporate or MDM server, and it knows it has to go out and get enrolled in Mass360. Takes a few minutes to follow a few simple prompts that pop up on the iPhone screen. Really, really easy, a few minutes. And once that device is successfully enrolled in Mass360, everything I need to do my job as an employee of your company, a new employee, automatically populates on my device with zero intervention from the IT team. As you can see here, Salesforce, Slack, Workday, Box, automatically populated on that device. Let me just go through that again. There you go. Salesforce, Slack, Workday, Box, no intervention from the IT team. For the Android phones, the process is going to look a bit similar. Google actually introduced 
gear touch provisioning for Android devices a few years back. And of these deployment methods, zero touch is the most popular amongst my current clients who are utilizing Android mobile phones to issue those to their employees. Corporate issued again. This service is provided by your telco partner. All the setup of the zero touch portal will be done by them. And the zero touch, it's very similar to Apple Business Manager. It's going to allow the admin to configure devices to install and enforce enrollment as part of the setup and activation for corporate devices. So if you're deploying, let's say you're a growing company and you're growing like gangbusters and you're bulk deploying devices on a monthly basis, you're going to want to use the zero touch process. This is going to completely really eliminate the manual setup of each device. Users just open the box and start using that device right away. This is what it's going to look like on the right hand side of the screen. You're going to power that device on the phone will activate. It's going to connect to Wi Fi and check for any updates. A screen's going to pop up saying this device will be managed and kept secure by XYZ company. XYZ company will manage and monitor this device using mass 360 and then we'll ask the user to accept and continue. Once they hit accept all the tools again. All the tools and applications that user needs to do their job, network configuration, email setup, tools, applications, documents, automatically populate on that phone. Again, no manual configuration or setup. That's what the process is going to look like for your corporation devices. Again, if you're a BYOD company, click on the video above my head right here to check out what that enrollment process looks like for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding the corporate issued enrollment process, what it's going to look like for your organization, let us know in the comments section below. I'm more than happy to make further videos diving a bit deeper in this topic or hopping on a call at your convenience to discuss. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like the video if you like this type of content. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on LinkedIn. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.